Look, is there something even up here? Are these like where the bear gods reside? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the the gray bears are up here on the mountain. <laughs> Fuck. All right. They teach you some sort of like ancient way of bear roar. <laughs> Fuck me. And at the very top there's like a I don't know what's <laughs> It could it wouldn't be another bear. It wouldn't be like the bear version of Parthenex could can't be a bear. It has to be something bear related. It's a bee. It's a giant bee. <laughs>When we had last left the last dragonborn, they were exploring the dingy bowels of the ancient Nord ruin of Roggenveld, Roggenveld. And it was there that they uncovered a strange and mysterious sarcophagus that seemed very unique. Yes, for to pass into the final chamber, they needed two special glowing eyeball skulls. And it was in the other chambers that they found such skulls, and they were weird but cool. And so they, they, they got to the end of the dungeon. <gasps> what was there but a speaking word wall? And what did they learn? How to talk to animals. Now, with their new Dr. Doolittle powers, did they emerge from Roggenwald and return back to Lakeview after a few detours along the way, where they were ready to mount their next excursion into the wilds to find, yes, the very final piece of Mayrunes' razor. This is the Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim, welcome back. <gasps> There we go. Let's get on out of here. Oh, also, but before we do, geez, when I was doing inventory management and all that stuff here at Lakeview, Ilya, our old friend Ilya, actually said that there was something going on in the basement. I think we may have a yeah. problem in the basement. I've been hearing a lot of scurrying down there lately. Can we talk about what do you this? Need, my friend? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think this might just be like a cool random hearth fire occurrence, right? Like, are we gonna find, like, skeevers down here or something? I- I didn't go down here or just off the basis of, like, holy shit, what a cool mystery. I've never seen this before, right? Like I said before, uh, Heartfire is definitely the DLC that I have touched by far the least. Let's see. I'm expecting skeevers. Look. There they are. Look, they don't notice me yet. Look, I'm at peace- hang on! <gasps> we can be at peace! I can be the ultimate skeever guy. Let's see. Wait, will they all follow me out here if I do this? Will all the skeevers follow me and become my skeever warrior army? Run! Skeevers, heed my call! Follow me into glorious battle! Huh? Oh, shit! Damn you to hell, skeevers. Damn you all straight to hell. All right, let's murder every single skeever here. <laughs> also, I think I might have some gems. Yep. There we go. Oh shit, killed the wrong one. <laughs> Look at Aeola resurrecting them. Okay. Jeez, honestly, we're lucky Aeola didn't fire off, like, a fireball or something in here and just knock all of my... my cups over. <laughs> Not my cups, Aeola. Not my cups! Let's see. Check all this. There really are a lot. Now, also because of that, I did not go down here to, like, check what we need to do. <laughs> Which is probably the place in the house that, yeah, that needs the most work done. Yeah, look at all that. I mean, we got some iron fittings. Maybe I'll just run them down here real quick. Nah, we'll do it in between videos. We'll have plenty of time. Right? Right? <laughs> okay, let's get on out of here. And let's head on over to... Where are we even going for this quest? Cracked Tusk Keep. Huh. Oh, okay. Let's head on up and over. Good. 
While we're in the area, we could also do one of our other quests at Fall Crease, but I'm not sure if I want to. I don't know if I want to overlap two of those kinds of quests, you know, because I, I think that's the only other quest we've got in the area, right? Is that other really special one? Let's see. Do I have any others like at least help the people of Fall Crease? Yeah. Two out of three times. Hmm. Which I guess would include that special quest, you know, that probably is one of them. Ay ay ay. How about where are these at? Are these out and around here anywhere? There's one way up there. Nah. Hmm. Let's see. Should we just like insta track everything? Nah. <laughs> Cause it'll take forever to untrack them, right? Okay. What's the hurry? Let's see. Prior Mabel. Let's head on out here. Look at this. It's a beautiful day. Oh, I love it. Didn't even have to yell at the sky for it to become this way. Right? Good lord. Oh, there's a big old crabulon. Oh, right, yeah. Our amazing Nernroot Pond. Also filled with dragonflies. Somewhere. Did they go away? Oh, gosh. I think I scared them all away. Oh, no. All right. Well, nonetheless, we got the Woot Root. Okay. Head on out over here. Sorry, Aeola. You can't ride on Prior Mabel. It's for my cheeks only. Okay, let's head on over here toward the right. Right? Actually, we should probably just quit tracking some of this stuff, right? Hmm. Yeah, let's untrack all of our miscellaneous stuff. So that way it's easier for me to discern our destination. There we are. Good. Is there any way to zoom in further while we're on the- yeah, there we are. Good. Look at this. Everything's good. Everything's great. There's some terrible bandits here going to try and, like, dump more rocks on us. Oh, no! Where do they keep- Ow, oh, shit! Jeez. Oh, fuck. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you know what? Like we said earlier, it's been a while since we had one of them. Let's see. We should probably dismount here and fight it. That way we don't get the dragon in Fall Creed, right? Let's see. Let's get our... What do you call it shit here? Dragon rend. Cool. And I think let's just go hard on it, right? Let's get uh, our potion of the warrior. Oh shit. Go. Nailed it. Easy. All right. Oh shit. Yo, where did she come from? All right. Let's actually try and steal its soul. Is Aeola like fist fighting this thing? <laughs> I think she was. Let's see. Take the tap root. Good. Let's take the dragon shit. Should we take these things too? Why not? Why not? For some reason, I'm compelled to take them. Let's see. Let's also get a dread zombie in the form of Spriggan Earth Mother. Spriggan Earth Mother! Rise from your grave! Alright, I'm here, and let's take care of these a-holes, right? Just as well. We'll give them a cool blast. Jeez, look at this. What the heck? Boom! Love it. <laughs> Yeah. Still got our potion in effect? Nope. Not even. There we go. Let me just make sure. <laughs> just in case. Yep, we're good. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I'll take that ring there. Oh no, look, this person is weird now. Okay. We'll never be able to check them unless we quick save, quick load. Alright. Let's top ourselves off. Good. Where did we leave Prior Mabel? Did Prior Mabel survive these events? Surely she did, right? If she did not, her body would be around here somewhere. Huh, unless the dragon like came by and lifted Prior Mabel up. Look at that, are they fighting over there? Aeol, are you fighting the... Yeah, the Spriggan. 
Damn. You trying to eat that thing too? <laughs> Good God. Okay. Let's go on up here. Can I grab any of these amazing shroomages? No, I can't. Not even these. Maybe I've already done it recently. Okay. Well, look, we've got two things tracked now. And I don't know why. Oh, it's to turn in the other two, right. Okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> I don't know what that could possibly be for, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Goodness, maybe Prior Mabel just ran off and cleared a dungeon all by herself. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we got the, the sound effect. Okay. Let's see over here. Should we equip our whirlwind sprint? Yeah, what even happened to her? Maybe she ran off into the wilderness somewhere and we just couldn't see her through the thick woods, right? Oh shit. Oh hey, look at these dickheads. This doesn't concern you, citizen. You don't know who I am? Walk away. Now. They really have some pretty piss poor intel for being like Go now. supposedly all like masters of cloak and dagger. Okay. Let's see. Who's that? Oh, never should have come <laughs> here. There you go. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. Good. What the fuck was that guy in the distance saying? <laughs> Take care of you. Next, Mr. Lord. There we go. Oh, shit, where did they even go? Alright. Well, I can't find the other one. We'll get you next. Good. Should I take any of your weird stuff? I'll drink your wine real quick. Here we are, up here. Nope. Good. Great. Lovely. What have you got? A conjurer's draft. Huh. Okay. You know what? I'm thinking that we, like, unbind. What's on our six? It's our, like, lightning chain? Yeah. Huh. I'm thinking we get rid of it, because we don't even use it that often anymore. Right? Because it's so costly for us, being not like a, a wizard's build. Maybe we get, uh, Dread Zombie, right? That way we can just have fun resurrecting shit here and there. Right? There we go. Cool. Like here. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright. How about you? Man! Alright, fine. Bunch of dickheads. Even in death. Okay. Do I still have... Let's get our whirlwind sprint at the ready just as well. Okay. And over here by this weird looking cave on our radar is what we're seeking, huh? Should we follow the road? I don't know if I've ever been on this road. It goes so far to the south. Jeez, we're practically in Cyrodiil now. Alright. There we are. Oh, look. Wow, look at this. Jeez. Halder's Cairn. Oh, God. Should we go in this? Ayola, what do you think? Should we go inside of this place? Is this maybe, like... I don't know, maybe this is like Dawnguard shit. I have no clue. Let's see. We'll check a burial urn. Fuck it, I'm going in. I'm going in. I need to know. I want to know. Alright. Oh, no. <laughs> Aeola, they have like some kind of... The Cairn is like a glow with some sort of fucked up superpower. All right. <laughs> uh, let's go take a look. See why it's glowing like that. Yo, what the fuck? What is this? Oh God, there's dead people all around it. Is it gonna talk to me? Is Haldir gonna speak out from beyond the grave? And be like, why are you here taking my mushrooms? You fucking 
fetcher. <laughs> For whatever reason, Haldir turns out to be a Dunmer. Alright. There we go. Let's take a look. Dude, there are a lot of shrooms here. Is this safe? <laughs> I, I ask as as it's emanating some mystical power and there's shitloads of blood and at least three dead bodies here. Hey, is this safe? <laughs> Let's see. Ugh. Wow, it is safe. I smell blood. Yeah, Iola. <laughs> I bet you do. Okay. Oh, these people have names. Vidgrid. Okay. Rain? Or rain? Some legs? Alright. Loads of shrooms. Agrius? Huh. Some older bodies as well. Okay. Well, that's... that's pretty strange. What's this for? Agrius' journal. Never thought I'd see the day we were run out of the Knife Point gang. Least the storm should cover our tracks. Vidgrid, Rayan, and I took shelter in a cave for the night. Looks like there's an old ruin here. Least there are no Draugr around. Vidgrid and Rayan both want to set up here for a while. Maybe do some raiding. They ought to know better. The road's deserted, especially this time of year. Plenty of better places up north, but they seem awfully insistent about staying here. Wouldn't even lend a hand when I went out to hunt tonight. Something's wrong. Rayan sa hasn't said a word since she woke up this morning. Just keeps staring off into space. Vidgrad isn't much better. They sick? Not like any illness I ever heard of. I just walk out on them. But I can't seem to get up the nerve. I feel like something's holding me back. What is this place? We are not alone. I can hear him now. Someone speaking in my mind. Old, powerful, Haldir. Oh, that's the name. He wants something from us. Needs us to stay for the magic to work. I tried to run. Can't just like them. Rayan jumped first, onto the cairn. That's what Master wants. Blood, sacrifice, power to live again. His magic. I can feel it pulsing in my blood. He's draining us. We'll serve him soon, as our, soon our bodies are souls, just like the others. They're waiting. It's my turn. Wow. They put it right here? Along with the key on the pedestal. How quaint. Wow, Jesus. I guess it wasn't glowing like this before. Man, wild that we couldn't see this from, <laughs> from topside. <laughs> Is there just like a little rock in the way? <laughs> Curse you! Haldar, the ultimate evil wizard, cannot fully be... Revealed yet? There's a tiny pebble in the way, blocking my laser of power. <laughs> Good God. I've waited in here for 5,000 years only to be brought down by a pebble. <laughs> Good God. All right. Have we got all these? Oh. Did that thing just make a whooshing noise? What was that? Let's see. I guess we have to look forward to this. Haldir's probably gonna, like, go up into my brain and start speaking to me telepathically and shit, right? Okay. Let's do this. I mean, hey. Join the fucking club, Haldir. You know how many people have, like, entered my brain, my mind palace, and spoken to me telepathically? At least a dozen. Now listen. There's some freaks over yonder. You can hear them. Getting freaky. All right, look at this. There are so many shrooms in here. This probably gives uh, the Falmer dungeon a run for its money, I bet. Okay. 
anything else. Oop, there we go. Good. We're pretty lucky that this thing didn't ask, like, enter my mind for real and ask me to jump onto it. <laughs> like, what gives? <laughs> How come I, d I don't get the same effect, huh? Me and Aeola and Gordon? Namiro, watch over you, champion. What do you want me to carry? Let's see. Can you take some of this dragon shit? I was planning to sell it off at Falkreath, but we got a little sidetracked. You lead. I'll follow. Alright. Uh, wasn't there another bit of iron here? Hmm. Let's see, where was that at? Not up here. Let's turn on the lights. Yeah, there we go. Good. Lovely. Alright. Uh, take my power, Haldir! Take my power! No? Okay. Fine. Let's head on up in here. Do a quick save and everything. Nice that we got the key. Don't even need to pick in. Okay. Let's enter stealth mode. Why not? A dwarven shield. Oh. Okay. Up and around here. Anything else? No. Oh shit, it's foggy as hell. Oh, I can't hardly see. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we got company around here. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Which way should we go? Down here? Yeah, this is a dead end. Could be something cool in the water. Eh? Anything? Some razors. Eh, that's about it. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Can I, can I get up here? I can, but to what end? Oh, God. Oh god! Haldir, you've won this one! <laughs> oh shit! Oh no! Save me! Oh no, I'm really lodged in here now. Oh god, I'm I'm in here so fucking deep. Oh god, I can't even see my own bod. Oh no! Haldir, you idiot! You could have at least had me jump onto your cairn and give you my awesome deborn power. All right, let's try and like whirlwind sprint out. Oh shit! Not even that can save me now. All right. Thankfully, I do also have. <laughs> I do have my other trick. Right. Yeah. I, th <laughs> I think we really are stuck. Okay. There's definitely got to be like a sweet spot where I could like jump and get out somehow. Right. Like, if I got in, there has to be a way to get out. Right? That just makes sense. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> Alright, fine. Fine. Turning on the... or turning off the clipping. Or collision, even. Alright. Good. Huh. <sighs> Stealth mode reactivate. Nobody suspects a thing. <laughs> All right, troll skull. Oh shit! These are just ghosts. Wow! I wonder if that's where um, old what's his butt with his potion got the idea from these ghosts. Okay. What are these? Anything else of interest? Nah, kind of some like trash items, really. Okay. Sure. These are people who, yeah, they're serving Haldir in death just as well. Oh. Mortal. <laughs> oh shit, there are a bunch of ghosts in here. There we go. Wow. Remember back in the day when ghosts used to have their own, like, ghost model? <laughs> like, when you became a ghost, you just looked kind of weird and fucked up and different, right? You look like a skeleton dude. Now you just look like a fucking dude who's turned blue. Alright. A lot easier for people to trick you now, right? They have to, there's a lot less work involved. Okay. Cool. Oh, look, what, what do you think this is? Oh, it's probably the slap and trap. Okay. Let's do a quick save here. 
Will this kill me? Uh. Let's see. Where's my become ethereal? Just in case. I'm afraid they go. Oh, Gordon! Uh. Fuck! Jesus Christ! Okay. <laughs> what if I just. What if I keep it depressed? Can I do that? Is there like a pot around here that I can like haul? Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> how about, how about this shit, right? What's heavy here? They got like a two-handed weapon or something? Shit, they don't really. Uh, how about the iron mace? Why not? Let's see, if I drop that on it, will it stay depressed? I think that's working. We'll do a quick save. Let's find out. There we are. Y'all, please do not kick that iron mace off of it. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> hey, there's a steel helmet over here. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Anything else? Now we're good. Whew. Jeez. You like to dance close to the fire, don't you? <laughs> Let's see. It's going up here. Through the butts. Ooh. I sense, I sense a presence, a presence. <gasps> They're like a T-Rex or something. They won't see me if I don't move. <laughs> I the sense of life is gone. a presence. I can't pickpocket them. Mortal fool. No. From the dead. I did pretty well. Let's see, we'll take this. Good. Let's haul ass up in here, huh? I sense a presence. Is it Christmas Day? <laughs> oh no! Donk! There you go. Oh shit! A normal Draugr now. You would think that the ghost would be a little bit more powerful though, right? Like it could go inside of you and like fuck you up from inside of your body. Anything else around here? Any of this? Nah. Eh, raised zombie. I guess I'll take it. Oh, shit. Hey, look at this guy. This guy's totally coming to life, huh? What's going up here? <laughs> there we go. Good. Great. Oh, there's another one back here. Do we need any more souls captured? We do! Okay. Good thing none of these Draugr ever read that book. Maybe, maybe they couldn't. <laughs> Alright. That's why they had it sitting there, Someday I'm gonna read this. <laughs> they just have such a backlog of reading to do. They keep reading over the fucking Red Eagle Chronicles. Just non-stop. It's the... It's it's the ancient Nord equivalent of... Of continuing to rewatch like... I don't know, what's something people... The Office. The whole bunch. Instead of watching something new. <laughs> it's their, like, comfort read. Alright, over here. I'm pretty sure that book was written way, way after the time that this was all built. <laughs> They had some equivalent, right? Something about Red Eagle and, like, how fucking cool and, like, smart and handsome and all that stuff Red Eagle was. And also look kind of like a bird, but in a really cool way. Oh, look, we got some walrus-faced men. Okay. Stealth mode activate. Oh, shit. Eat shit, dude! Oh, and a ghost lord just as well? Oh, did you come out of that? I didn't even see you. Damn. Look at Aeola. Fucking shocking the shit and then, like, slugging it out. I love it. Maybe we should never give her a melee weapon. No, we have to. Once we find the fork, or a fork, we gotta give it to her. For sure. That's just too good. <laughs> Alright. Over here. Honey nut treat. Oh, not a lovely staff ready to decorate one of my houses. All right. 
Let's see, over here. Petty soul gem. Money. Okay, are these the spinning ones? Yes, they are. Okay, so do we just have them? Oh, look, oh no. There are two choices. Wait, they're both fish, though. Oh, okay. Is it just in case, like, you're really such a fool you can't see even one of them? Alright. There you go. Get a snake there. And then... Double bird. <laughs> Give him the double bird. Alright. And then... Do we just... Wait, what, what do we even do after we've done that? Oh yeah, there was like the lever behind someone's butt or something, right? Oh, over here. There we go. But are we meant to go through that or through this door? Maybe this door. Oh look, we actually picked this one. Okay. Ah! Let's see. Get that out of there. Let's turn this on. Potion of Magicka. Is this thing somehow a booby trap? No. So lucky that amid all the chaos of this tunnel collapsing, the treasure chest somehow, like, <laughs> got to the top. <laughs> you know, the cream, it rises to the top. Here we are. Okay. And then... Yeah, did we... Did we pull their secret butt lever? Yeah. Right? That's what opened... Yeah, this gate. Okay. Hey, cool. watch it. Oh, sorry, Ayola. I'm very sorry. Oh, look at this. Ah, another shroom zone. Don't mind if I do. Alright. There we go. Good. Huh? Let's enter stealth mode. We might get some stealth XP and all that, you know? Why not? Anything else? Something good in the water, perhaps? Oh. Oh, there is. Minor healing and a coin purse. Okay. I forget, in Fallout 4, do they have a fix for this thing where, like, you can see, like, like the, the line where the water begins and ends? I don't know. Maybe they'll have it, uh, working well in Starfield with the new engine. Or version. Alright. Let's see. Oh! I sense a presence. <laughs> okay. Let's just go over here. Yeah! Got you in one! There we go. Ooh! Smacking ghosts around. Okay. Anything else around here? Yeah, what's the, even the use of being a ghost if you can't go, like, incorporeal? You know? And as someone's swinging their weapon at you? Right? Because I always understood that that was why, like, uh, normal weapons in prior games wouldn't work against, like, supernatural enemies, like ghosts especially, is because, like, it would just pass through them, so you needed a silver or better weapon. Alright. Anything else here? Maybe ghosts are just different now, right? Maybe something changed. Ghosts became, like, less powerful. People stop believing in them, <laughs> just in general, right? We know that, that that's like canon and how it works, right? Like, the more you believe in a ghost, the more power it gets. So people are just becoming less and less superstitious, despite living in a world like this, <laughs> where it would totally make sense to believe in ghosts. All right, let's disarm this thing. There we are. Good. Fun hat. Soul gem here as well. Okay. There we are. Anything else around here? Nah. Alright. Let's do a quick save. Good. A wholesome ass. What have we got? Wait, did we come through here? <gasps> no, we did not. <gasps> Look, is this the other... Oh, this is the other end of its, like, column of ethereal power. Oh my gosh, and look how many braziers have they got lit here. <gasps> Was Haldir like the brazier god? Oh my god. <gasps> it is Haldir's ultimate form. Draugr and ghost at the same time. <laughs> what the fuck? 
<laughs> oh. Die, you foul asshole. Oh, whoa. Oh my gosh, you've split into two. How can that even be? Or three? Is that a third dude over there? A third Haldir? Who is this? That is Haldir. Can I trap your soul? Wow, I can. You'd think that would end him forever <laughs> if we did that. Okay. See, Haldir, I would just make like 500 at once. Boom! There you go. Cool. Huh. Ancient Nord Sword of Ice. Haldir's Staff. Calms less powerful opponents for 60 seconds? Oh yeah, I guess it did calm those people and then they decide to jump onto the... Cairn of Sacrifice or whatever. Wow. Jeez, all those people's bodies and souls and stuff sacrificed to Haldir and he was kind of like... A fucking baby. <laughs> Alright. Really not worth the investment. Really not worth it. <laughs> See, if you're gonna sacrifice your soul and body into something, at least turn yourself into, like, I don't know, a cool amulet. <laughs> that lets people get better prices. <laughs> Alright. Over here. Let's see, if we stand on this, is this gonna get us? I don't know. Hey, Gordon's down there. Hey, hey Gordon, what are you doing there? <laughs> okay, sure. See, this would have been even more clever for Haldir to do, right? This would have probably killed us, right? Especially if we fell straight to the bottom. Oh, that's how they died. They didn't jump from down there. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's really not that far, but maybe they just, you know, they went head first. Okay, I believe it. But they jump from up here. I see. So if I do this, is Haldir going to get empowered again? <laughs> Alright. Let's see, anything else here? We got some iron armor, iron hats, an urn, filled with some little knickknacks. Let's turn on our light. Beautiful. Let's also cast some of this, right? Every so often I remember that I should be doing this. Of course, I could do it all in between videos, but, you know. Did plenty of in-between video grinding in Oblivion Land. It's gotta be said. Oh, what cool book do you have here? Oh, you can't even read it. No wonder Haldir was so angry. There's all this weird shit behind you as well. What is this? Can't even make sense of it. Haldir, this looks stupid. This looks very stupid. I do not approve of this. <laughs> all right. Over here, big sack of money, so many quatloos within. Cool. Alright, let's check our super treasure chest. Wow, a banded iron shield. Oh, Riorn's drum. Oh, that's what this is for. Oh. Huh. Maybe we should do that quest line before... Yeah, before we begin DLC. You know what? That's a great idea. We should do that quest line. That would be very cool. I mean, should we? Apparently, we've already done quite a bit of it. I'm pretty sure we have a flute as well in our inventory. Okay. Let's see. Will this kill me? Will this power up Haldir again? It did! Oh, but Haldir gets no power. <laughs> what a waste. Okay. Let's see. Ew. Listen to that, it's like a shower going on. Okay, let's unequip and re-equip. Oh, I'm in slow mode. Okay, Gordon, thanks for showing me the way. I'm pretty sure I've done this jumping puzzle, though, in, like, Bloodborne or something. <laughs> you know. There we go. Good. Great. Okay. Eat a butt, Haldir. I'm really surprised Haldir did not try talking to me at all. Come on. <laughs> Wait, what even gives? Right? Sometimes, like, people talk to us all the time. Come on. I was making fun of Haldir. Like, oh, Haldir, what are you gonna do? You gonna telepathically talk to me? Ooh, scary. I've never seen that before. Oldest fucking trick in the book. And then, Haldir's, like, sad as shit for me, like, clowning on him. Poor fucking Haldir. Haldir didn't even bother to speak. 
Jeez, I feel bad. Oh wait, should we rest in here? We probably should. This is a great idea, right? Because this is an interior bed. We can get fully rested before we um, travel out to our next destination, right? Let's see. We'll sleep among these fucked up dead- Oh, look! Oh, it all fell over and shit. Now it just looks like a big pile of jelly jam. Mmm. All right, gonna get so many flies. Let's go for 12 hours, right? 5.28 a.m. That shouldn't be too bad, right? Hey, maybe when we wake up, Haldir will be, will begin speaking to us. No, no, okay. <laughs> I was looking forward to Haldir. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was genuinely looking forward to it. I feel kind of bad. Like, it was because I was joking about it. And, like, being kind of mean to Haldir. Jeez. I'm sorry, Haldir. Though you did kill... Yeah, you killed a lot of people. So maybe fuck you. <laughs> maybe I'm not sorry. Maybe I'm not sorry. You made a lot of people, like, jump into that pit. All right. Let's see over here. Okay. There you go. Good. Surprise, honestly, at this point, maybe more of these, like, ancient fucked up Nords of yore need to have these, like, superpower wells where people jump into them and sacrifice them, <laughs> their, their body and soul, to power up them, right? Okay. Surprised more people aren't doing it. Hey, wow, where the fuck are we going? What the hell? Yo, we really are going to Cyrodiil! No way! How- When does it tell me that I can't keep going? How far down this road- Oh, okay. Alright. Ah, I see. Okay. Can't go that way. Oh, look at that. Wow, where was this in the game? In- in, uh, in Oblivion? Did we ever see this? I don't think they ever showed a path like that, right? Hmm. I'm glad that they have it, though, right? I'd rather show- have them have, like, roads going out of a province and stuff and be like, Oh, you can't go that far, because most people will understand, like, Yeah, we're- <laughs> they can't just keep making the game forever and ever. <laughs> it has to end somewhere, <laughs> right? I think I prefer that to the idea of it being closed off somewhere or whatever. Is there anything on top of this? I think this is very similar to the, or exactly the same one that is in River Wood, River Run, right? Well, we might be able to jump up on this side. Let's see. Can I, can I jump up on this? Oh, there we go. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Got some fun stuff here. Look how, how much fun we're having. Oh, it's a little cold though. It's fine. Oh, look at this! Oh my gosh! I'm the ultimate dude! I'm the ultimate champion! Fuck you, Cyrodiil! Alright, cool. That said, the one thing about this... It is appalling that there are no Imperial soldiers here, right? That should be the case. Love that there's a road going over through the Gerald Mountains to Cyrodiil. But there should absolutely be a shit ton of, like, Imperial soldiers there holding this input for, like, ground troops and stuff, right? That should a million percent be the case, right? Even though, like, we know that, like, oh yeah, they're strapped for, for people and all that, the Empire, they, they, d they don't have as many bodies in Skyrim as they would like, there should still be a couple of dudes or something there keeping track of who is coming and going and all that stuff. And at least holding down such an important, like, point within the grand scheme of the Civil War and all that, you know? But it's not, it's not such a big deal. We'll just pretend like we saw him there, right? We'll just pretend. Alright. I'm sure someone added in, like, a mod that did just exactly that. Oh, what's this? Oh my gosh, look at this. An unmarked location? Is that what this is? Do my eyes deceive me? Oh look, and there's a fun journal here as well. Hunter's Journal. Track down a small den of bears today. Their pelts are in fine condition and should fetch a good price. Going to set up camp for the night and kill the beasts in the morning. 
Hopefully we can get by on the few arrows we have left, or I may have to fall back on my blade. Oh, I bet the bear den is nearby and they are dead as hell. Ooh, reading the legend of Crately House, huh? Okay. Let's see. Anything else around here? Yeah, the bear den is probably not too far off. In fact, maybe it's right below. Right? Is it down here? Oh, shit. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, they're probably around here somewhere, like, dead as hell. Right? Gotta be. In fact, I bet this is it. Right underneath us here. Huh? Is this it? Oh, shit. No, it's not. Where could it be? Oh, I kind of want to find it now. You know it's around here somewhere, right? It's gotta be. Oh, I hear them. The bear lords. Oh shit, there they are. Okay. Oh, Shazbot. Okay. Unrelenting force. Shit, I missed a bear. That's fine. Boom. Gotcha. Run you through. Great. Jeez, Aeola just gets into fucking fights with everybody, even her own, like, summoned creatures. <laughs> Alright. She might be the, like, <laughs> the most violent follower we've had yet, <laughs> right? Like, canonically, we've had more violent followers, but in practice, Aeola is just pissed as shit at everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. If she's not angry at you, she's hungry at you. <laughs> Alright. Where is this where is this bear den? They came from like up here, huh? They said explicitly that it was like a cave, right? Oh this is it, we found it! Oh fuck yes. Oh, these must be the hunters, yes. What the fuck? Were these bears, like, really fucking kinky or something? How come they're all naked? Surely these hunters did not also come out here, like, fucking buck naked. Right? Because <laughs> they would have wrote in their journal as well, right? They would have wrote, like, Oh, not only am I low on arrows, but I'm low on clothing as well. <laughs> I shit in all of my, my last pairs of hunting garments. We'll just have to make do and hunt these bears naked. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's take this stuff. Oh, shit. You've got a lot of stuff on you. Oh, my God. A gold diamond ring, a grilled chicken breast. Do I need food even? Let's see. How do I... How do I check my shit real quick? No, we don't. I guess I'll just take it. There we are. Horker meat. Leg of goat. Yeah, we can just cook all these things up later. We've got plenty of, uh, salt on us, I believe. Alright, let me double check. Yeah, 23 units. It's the only thing I didn't stow away. Take all these pelts. A fun hat. Yeah, weird that they didn't decide to take their armor and wear it. Maybe the Nord- the- the Nords. <laughs> I just saw Nord mead. I just saw Nords, yeah. <laughs> but maybe the bears undress them like some fucking freaks, right? They're just some weirdo in their own, like, version of Skyrim. Bear Rim. Just undressing bodies, getting decapitated heads, filling their bear cave everywhere. Bizarre. Bears are so weird. Alright. Can I search this? It looks like something crops up, but that may be the, yeah. The shroomages. Okay. Huh. Cool, nonetheless, that we found it, right? Love that shit. An unmarked, fun little location. Even has a little journal dedicated to it, right? How cool. Look, is there something even up here? Are these, like, where the bear gods reside? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the... The gray... Bears... Are up here on the mountain. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. They teach you some sort of, like, ancient way of bear roar. <laughs> Fuck me. And at the very top, there's, like, a... I don't know, what's... 
It, could, it wouldn't be another bear. It wouldn't be like the bear version of Parthenex could can't be a bear. It has to be something bear related. It's a bee. It's a giant bee. It's a giant bumblebee at the top of their mountain. Yes. Ah. <laughs> uh. Welcome, Beeborn. We've been expecting you. Did you hear our, our bee, bu our buzz call, <laughs> our buzzing? <laughs> we su we summoned you, Beeborn. Yes, we're here to teach you the ways of the bumble. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. No wonder there's so many powerful bears around. They're all learning this, right? Okay, let's get on out of here. Look, here's our destination. Some old rundown bullshit over here, huh? Cool. Well, let's at least clear out the exterior. All right. Very well. Should I heal on up? Do I need some healing? Do you think they're peaceful? Look, is that person waving to me? Hello! Now, ain't this a surprise? Oh. Hey, don't do that. Ah, no. Ow. I'm pretty impressed by that. Normally it doesn't work. Oh, All right. Rota! See ya. Knock, knock. Looks like we a hero. Wait, are these all orcs? Is this like a group of rogue... Like a rogue orc stronghold? Look at how it's laid up and everything. What is this? Huh. Victory is yours. Are they not friendly? What? Yeah, weird. They must not be friendly in the same way that the others are? They didn't even want to talk and tell me to, like, fuck off or whatever, right? Shit, we're carrying so much weird shit right now. Oh my gosh. Aeola, please! Come help me, I'm carrying so much weird shit right now. Alright. I mean, clearly, like... They're in a weird state of... of being, right? Because instead of building up their own, like, sweet-looking stronghold... They've sort of repurposed this old one? Which seems very uncommon, but the rest of the like structures here look very orc settlementy, right? Like, see, look at the uh, the like roofing. I don't know what that material is, like some kind of scaled creature. <laughs> I would say dragon, but hey, that can't be the case. You're one right. of Namira's faithful now. Thanks. What do you want me to carry? How about some weird shit, huh? Look, I do have a whole bunch of shrooms. Total weight. Yeah, look at that. All from that dungeon, huh? Look at all those. Definitely not quite as much as before. But still, a hefty amount. There we are. Thanks, Aeola. Lead on. Okay. Think of that as like your training there, Aeola. The more shit you carry around for me, you're just gonna get like fucking jacked as shit. Whenever you're like done spell slinging, you can start slugging it out. You're just gonna like send them flying. <laughs> Let me tell you about this guy I knew about, Aeola. His name was Goku. <laughs> he did something not too dissimilar. <laughs> All right, let's head on up and over here. Good. Let's see. Oh my god, so many of these things. I guess because they're hunters, right? Weird. They're all just set up to be hostile as shit to us. I wonder if there's meant to be like a quest or whatever where you come here on behalf of one of the orcish strongholds and all that, right? I have no idea. It's fascinating though, to say the least. We'll probably hold off going inside, right? And we'll do that next time. Let's see. Anything else around here? Did we check this body? Yes, must have. Yeah, look, they've got... Oh, wow. Cool glass sword. Oh, wow, dwarven mail. Wow. It does look really neat. But do I want it? Huh. I do want it. Maybe I'll want to decorate somewhere with it or whatever, right? Okay. Let's see. Cabbages. 
Anything else over here? By the way, the, the game where that male is from, right? These new custom creation club. Well, I, I guess they aren't custom, but the new creation club armor sets and stuff. The new looks. I played some of that game. The Elder Scrolls Blades, the mobile thing. It's alright. It's not really grabbing me the same way that like Fallout Shelter did. But it's alright. For a mobile game and all that. Let's see. Since I got my... My new phone and everything that can actually <laughs> run modern phone games on it. Okay, I think, have we searched everything? No, we haven't looked inside of that. Let's see here. Mosey on up and around inside of this. Anything good here? Not even like an urn or a little sack of something? No. Alright. Very peaceful area though, it's gotta be said. Look, and you can see how they cleared out part of the area around of the trees in order to build up their shit, right? Very cool, huh? Look at that. That's some attention to detail. I love that shit, right? It's not necessary, right? Like, if, if that weren't the case, if these weren't chopped down, wouldn't mind. But just seeing it, it's kind of cool, right? It's kind of cool when it's there. Never, never upset when you don't see it, but cool when you do. All right, cool. Hopefully this isn't where they piss and shit. Well, when next we come back, we will head on into Crack Tusk Keep and find out perhaps what the hell is going on with these, like, shitloads of orc hunters out here. What are they doing? How come no one, none of the other orc strongholds seem to mention them? I don't know. They're like on the border to, yeah, this, this is still Cyrodiil down here, right? Yeah, totally. How strange. Until next time, please. Take care of each other.